And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Mecha Zoe. <laughs> this is a, a new donation deck, a viewer submitted deck um, that looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty combo-ish. So we're going to be playing, you know, obviously Zoe, but the Mecha part of our deck is going to be the bots. We got three Ballistic Bot, we got three Assembly Bot, and that's not enough, three Plaza Guardians. So all these uh, bots that all care about spells... Ballistic Bot creates Ignitions for us each round, so it creates a spell for us each round. Assembly Bot, when it's in play, we cast a spell, it gets plus one, plus one. Plaza Guardian, whenever we cast a spell, it reduces the cost down from 10 to 9, then 9 to 8, and so on. Um, so that we can get this thing to cost zero. So that's what our deck's about, like these these bots. Now we have like Zenith Blades to make them, uh, give them Overwhelm, because... Even if you make like an assembly bot like a 15-15, they could still block with a spacey sketcher. So we need to be able to give this some kind of keyword. So we got the Zenith Blades in here for that. Um, let's see. Besides that, just a whole bunch of spells. Um, <clears throat> we'll have Rummage to be able to rifle through our deck. Rummage with stress testing. That's, of course, a um, you know really good combo. Iterative improvement to make more copies so we can get more bots. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of all about it. We got one vine here just chilling, hanging out. Decided to join the party. So let's go ahead and try it. Mecha Zoe. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Focus, yeah, focus is a, a speed of a spell. It's burst speed. It's the same thing as burst speed, but you can't play it during combat. You so you just um, if you've ever created a gem, a gem has focus speed. That's um, the same. So that's what that is. Shivana Rillian Soul. Our first deck. This, of course, is a hush deck. We don't like seeing hush decks with our assembly bots. Um. I'll keep it. We got two of our bots and a couple of decent spells. <clears throat> I like the um, the Pale Cascade because these dragon decks usually play the 3-2 Challenger for two mana. And so we can have the Pale Cascade save Ballistic Bot from that Challenger in case they have it. Witness perfection, meatbags. Cool. I love seeing the Blue Sentinel. Because I'm not really planning on killing that for a little while. Cool. More bots. No! Wrong card! <laughs> well... It kind of lagged a little bit. Played the wrong card. But oh well. It's about just playing these spells for, for Plaza Guardian right now. The dragon's draws to get out. They're probably going to have to trade with Shivana with one of these bots. Man, we sure do level up Vi real quick. Or get this power on Vi real quick. <laughs> Arise, bot army. I'm not really expecting to win against, like, Dem I always think really, really highly of Demacia, Targon, Shivana decks. Like, I think these decks are great. I'm not really, like, expecting a win from us. But that'd be cool if we could. I guess I can take that. Humanity is obsolete. 
they're looking for Equinox. No. I wish I didn't waste my other Flash of Brilliance. See, so, like, we would have had another um, use on this Ballistic Bot. Assembly Bot, let's go! It is a bot army. Watch the fire breath this time. A soldier should know to stay out of the way. All the mecha. But unfortunately, no Zenith Blade for us. Destiny's call. Does give them the blue sentinel. But I do gotta kill things. Yeah, if we find a, a Zoe, we can have like 9-9 Zoe, which could be cool. Um, but yeah, we could have 18 power Vi, especially if we find Zenith Blade for Vi. I can make this ballistic bot plus eight plus eight. I'm gonna try to save the assembly bot over saving the ballistic bot. I don't. The ballistic bot's probably gonna die, but that's. Okay. Does that level this up? Yes, it does. Now I take 
to the sky! Flesh was weak, but look at me now! Vi stands for violence! Have I challenged the lifesteal unit last? Can you improve perfection? Obviously, if they have judgment, I lose. I'm hoping that's not the case. Rise of the Machines. Alright, well, so that's going to be... Not enough to... So seven. So this, this will put him down to five, and I got four ignitions. Is and then next round, we're creating two more ignitions, hopefully. I think I, I ha there's one if you want to live. one mystic shot in the deck. We're forcing their hand at open attacking. Yeah, Destiny's Call Zoe is kind of my plan. Plan. Ah, uh, start shaping. Okay, but they're only left with four mana. Can you improve perfection? Get him, Zoe. Yeah. All right. That's a good win. That's a really good solid deck. That's a good win. Mecha Zoe. <laughs> Rise of the Machines. Okay, that's a good win. So speaking of good decks, this one of course certainly qualifies. <sighs> I 
All right, I'm in there. So this this 10 mana card kind of has two outcomes. It could be way too expensive and we're not going to be able to play it. Or we find a bunch of like cheap spells and we're able to play it and it's like what we need to pull ahead, right? Like those are like the two outcomes for this card. And um, the so therefore the portal cannon kind of goes really well with the Plaza Guardian because if it's the outcome like where we're not going to be able to play this, you know, we'll discard it to the portal cannon if that's the outcome. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Alright, we got two of these out here. No mercy for those who desecrate our home. They will find our lands do not take well to intruders. And this deck may be above average. Just one mana, attack for six. Put all those things to play attacking. Yeah, now Azir's leveled up already. Turn four. And they need to make Azir a lot more difficult to level up. With these blade dancing and stuff, it's it's ridiculous how easy it is to level that up. It's pretty silly. Yeah, it's just basically both champions turn four leveled up already. Okay, maybe this deck is unbeatable. <laughs> I should I should have done all this before attacking. But they just had that, unfortunately they just had like that 1-1 one, one that was going to get in my way for attacking. I don't really want to discard stress testing right now because we just get, you know, like we don't get any kind of value out of the fleeting card of Alliance. I guess I kind of need the one drop. Wow, okay. That's cool. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, the. <laughs> that deck, the last few times we played it, has looked completely unbeatable. But 
Let's try it again. Maybe they won't have both champions leveled up on turn four again. You can only hope. I can learn from watching you. Reality Yeah, because we even had like our one mystic shot to kill the sparring student on turn two last game, right? Wasn't that last game? Yeah, that was last game. Yeah, so they have the protection for Aurelia that they are keeping up. But better to make them play that right now than, than later. Right, because later on they get, you know, more like another flawless duet and all that kind of stuff, and it's just gonna just slow them down. That's still the best. Best thing to be doing, I think. Yeah, how about that? Sl just slowed him down and, and they couldn't handle it. One thing went bad for him. They're like, game's over. The first time Aurelia Zier has ever lost. They didn't have his ear. All right, back to Lissandra Trundle. That's the deck that we were just playing. Or I said, sorry, I'm so used to saying Lissandra Trundle. Sorry, Lissandra Talia, the deck that we were just playing. Uh, this is a pretty decent looking hand. I'll mulligan the stress testing. I don't know, I could see keeping that stress testing. <laughs> That's a cool card. That helps turn on Pill Cascade, and obviously grows the assembly bot. No, they did have the turn one frozen thrall. Pass. Saying without the payoffs, blade dance is awful. That's not. That's not very accurate. Without the payoffs, Blade Dance isn't completely game winning. It isn't, you know, the best thing that they've ever made in Legends of Runeterra. Like it is otherwise. I don't even know if attacking for one's worth it. Might as well. But yeah, not having the Emperor's Dias or the Orazir slows the deck down a lot. All 
All right, we got double assembly bot. Love it. This is where we draw a Zenith Blade. We can make these assembly bots bigger than their 8 8s. Wouldn't be too difficult to do that. Opponent smart. Playing promising future. Folia would have blocked that thing. Come close. I could come pretty close to killing them. I guess I couldn't quite kill them, but could come pretty close. Do I want this rummage to be fleeting? Got a couple eight eights. Shouldn't have kept by. <laughs> I do doing nothing with Vi. Make sure I'm discarding the right card. Good job, Thermogenic Beam. Wish I had the other Thermogenic Beam that I discarded earlier. Now we get Zenith Blade. That'll do. Man, the bots, those assembly bots are sweet. All right. <laughs> Attack of the bots. Three and one. Do two. 
They went like what? Like turn. I don't know. I don't know exactly what turn, but you know, like they they got like the double eight eight overwhelms and like attacking with two eight eight overwhelms, and they just <laughs> I just have larger things. They just chump attack into <laughs> with their eight eight overwhelms. That's when you know it's you're sad. You have eight eight overwhelms plus you have blighted ravine and you can't kill <laughs> the other three mana one ones. That's pretty funny. PNZ Shadow Wilds. Alright, we got a burn deck. Timo Burn. I guess I'm gonna mulligan you, Plaza Guardian. And stress testing. Ooh, no Teemo. This is the first time I've played against this deck in a long time that has had no Teemo. No turn one Teemo. Hmm, the turn two Teemo. Interesting. And that is why they play turn two chemo. What do we got? The serpent. Fair enough, I suppose. If I wait till after Ballistic Pot to play Serpent, it will, you know, have the augment that will grow Ballistic Pot. Those things are big. <laughs> to beat Azir, you must join Azir. We are all children of Sharima. <laughs> I like the Zoe Shivana deck I played against that Azir deck. Zoe Shivana that I played two days ago. I think I think it does have a good matchup against this uh, against a really Azir. I'm not taking any more damage. We got lots of cards. Good. No need to risk it. I guess this thing's 
I should have just played this ignition. I guess it doesn't matter. That thing's fleeting. I could go with the stress testing, but I can also just keep stress testing. Last iterative improvement. Nice, there you go, Bandit. Yeah, the tough lifesteal, Radiant Guardian. Real good in that matchup, and just all the other life steals and stuff. Yeah, I suppose you get to do that. So they have to find five burn this round. If they're able to find five burn this round, they got me. Or, you know, like by the time my next attack, right? Because I'm. My next attack is killing them. It looks like they have it. I guess, you know, with like get excited and all that kind of stuff. Why did I. Oh, I still have three mana. Like, they're definitely dead this next, like, next round. So can they kill me? This is going to be close. I wouldn't be surprised if they kill us. Yeah, they just drew all three Unto Dusk and all three Iterative Improvements. Um, so they just got to Doom Beast a million times. So all they need is a Mystic Shot or get excited. Which we got to hope they don't have either. get excited. I don't think I have anything in my deck, but might as well draw. Very close. Yeah, no. No healing. So they dealt five damage to me with those fearsomes. Like, that was, that was a good hand. Yeah, they dealt the five damage to me with the fearsome... And two damage. No, I think just the five damage of the fearsome, right? Like that was it. Oh no, no, they had the other four one fearsome, right? So they dealt eleven damage to me with the fearsomes. Did I heal my nexus a little bit? And then it was just all doom beasts. I think they had one, two, three, four, five, six. I think they had six doom beasts. Yeah, they had six six doom beasts. Six doom beast abilities. No, I didn't heal my Nexus any. I don't have anything that heals my Nexus. So why isn't it a draw when you when both of you die? Is because it's whoever dies first loses. And so they're once once they're get excited, does lethal damage to my Nexus, then the game is over. It's still the animations continue on. It doesn't just quit the animations right then, whenever that happens. Um, which uh, that's you know debatable. Why don't they just quit the animations whenever that happens? But they continue. They it continues through the whole rest of, of combat. Shows on the screen of what was going to happen, but none of, none of it matters or registers or anything. Once you have that lethal burn spell, it's over. Anyway, there we go. That's Mecha Zoe. That's going to be a good three and two record. We'll take positive records in ranked all day long. That's um, you know a sign of a good deck. If you can win. Um, two or three out of five in ranked. That's that's definitely very good. 
Um, but I liked it. It was, it was fun to play. Plaza Guardian and Assembly Bot both uh, did a whole lot of work. We had our first game with Ballistic Bots doing a lot of work. But yeah, that just kind of shows, like, this deck really shows off the power of these bots. You don't really see these bots too much in constructed games, but they are really powerful as we displayed um, with all this stuff. And we didn't even really use Zenith Blades. We only had Zenith Blade that very last game, but we were still being able to win with those bots even without them. So pretty cool deck. And obviously we, the power of Rummage plus Stress Testing is something else um, and everything like that, but pretty cool little deck here. Progress Day seems like, seems like unnecessary at the top end. Like this just seems too expensive, eight mana. Um, all those games are over beforehand. So as far as like improving the deck, I would get, I would honestly just get rid of progress days. It just doesn't seem like we need them. Like the game's over one way or the other before that. And you have, you have the rummage stress testing. That's probably enough card draw. And instead you could play a couple of mystic shots and play two more of these and play three. Mystic shot was really good for us. We had it, you know, a couple, you know, we had this one copy of mystic shot, multiple games, like where we needed it to kill something right away. So I'd, I'd probably, I would just play three Mystic Shots here. And then the Mystic Shots can also help, you know, finish games out and stuff. I would just take out Progress Day, play more of those, and, you know, call it a day. All right, so that's going to be it here for Mecha Zoe. Yeah, Star Shaping is another option. If, if you if you want something, like, if you, do, if you don't want to play Mystic Shot, if you want to play, like, a, a really nice top-end card instead of Progress Day, yeah, play Star Shaping. That helps out with how aggressive the... The metagame just so aggressive these days that that five nexus healing is good, and then you know you can find a big threat with that. You you won't be able to play any of the spells with star shaping, of course, because we don't have any other celestials. So you won't be able to have any of the other spells besides living legends. So you could have living legends or a unit, but still, that's going to be more worthwhile than the progress day. But um, I would just go with the mystic shots myself. Mystic shot, um, you know, would help would help kill early units too. All right, but that's going to be it here for Mecha Zoe. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching the bots. Um, also, if you got other deck ideas to see on stream, any of like, the new cards, anything like that, feel free to let me know. Uh, we got meme tier Monday tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll play some more new fun decks with these uh, new cards. All right, puppy, is that the end of the stream, puppy? Oh, so that's why you come up here? Because you're like, oh, it's the end of the stream, so I'm going to come up and say hi now. Because I don't want to come up and say hi any other time. Just whenever I'm going to go outside and play and go get some food and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, well, that's that's going to be it here for Mecha Zoe. Um, so that that's it. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, like I said, uh, hit that like button, leave those comments. I appreciate it. But I'd also... Just appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you so much. And Puppy says thank you so much. And I will see you for the next video. Bye. All right. Ow. <laughs> Gotta stop the video.